Hi, I'm Eric McBride and I'm a junior at Vail High School. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to watercolor sunflowers. Okay, so first you want to get some watercolor paper. It's just regular paper and you get it at Walmart or like any arts and crafts store. So next you're going to want to get a watercolor pack. Um, so either of these works, you just kind of, for sunflowers you need yellow and brown pretty much. Um, but it's always nice to have other colors. Okay, so next you're going to need some water and some brushes. I've been using brushes that look like this, but you can use practically any brush you want if it works. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get a brush and wet it. And then you get some light brown and you make kind of a circular with this light, light brown just to map where you want to put your brown. And then you can gradually make it darker and... Okay, so after you get it a little bit darker, you might want it to get more dark than that. So you can clean your brush off and you can just dip into this black. Um, you're probably going to want it to be really, really light and you just kind of mix it around and then you can add it on there. Um, it'll make your brown darker, so you're probably going to have to have to add a little bit more brown so it's not black. Or this gross gray. Um, so you're going to want to get off as much water from your brush as you can and go back in. Um, and you just keep going until you're kind of satisfied with how it's going to look. And we might have to go back to it after it gets a little bit water dried off of it. So we'll move on so to when the leaves. you start your leaves, you're going to want to brush like this, which it fi I find it easier that way. So you're going to want to dip your brush in the water. And you're going to want to go in this yellow or darker yellow. I like to start out with the lighter ones first because that just seems easiest for me. And I like to do it like this. You start with the pointed side there first. And you just kind of make it like, kind of swish it around and make it like spiral. And sometimes it won't come out with a point and you might have to be really careful with doing that. And see how the brown is smearing? Um, you, that's just kind of what happens in watercolors. You can go back and fix it, like smooth it out in a minute. Um, but I just kind of ignore it at this point. So you keep going until you think that there's enough petals. And you just, however you think a sunflower might be. I just kind of guess on this part because um, I don't really know. Okay, so you just kind of have to like trust the process. So after you get it looking like something like this, you go in with the same brush after you've cleaned it off and kind of get all the water off of it, as much as you can anyway, and you can go into the darker yellow that's over here, or you can mix yellow and an orange. Um, so you're going to want to kind of outline that, and we might have to make the yellow darker, we might have to add some orange, um, but you're just kind of want to add some depth, I guess, just to kind of make it look kind of a cute sunflower, and not that, like, very bright, almost green, neon green color. Um, so you just kind of keep going with this, stop when you think you should, you can always make it darker, but you can never make it lighter, so, unless you add water, because it's watercolor, but. It's going to take quite a while, and you kind of stop when you want to. You can also add some brown if you want into the yellow. If you want kind of more of a dying sunflower look, I think it's a petal right there. Um, but I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but this is just how I'm going so far. Okay, so I'm going to make some of this ye darker yellow and some of the orange. So when I mix, I just kind of get quite a lot of it on the brush and put it on the side. Um, and then I rinse it off so I don't mix my colors because uh, what if I want orange someday, not yellow orange. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get go in the orange and mix with the yellow I sat over here. And it should make it a little bit darker. Um, so yeah. And you just kind of do the same thing you just did with the darker yellow. Um, and you just kind of, like, judge where you want it to be. You kind of want to map out 
um, where each single leaf is instead of like one big yellow blob. Um, so you just keep going and you kind of judge with yourself. You kind of have to know when to stop and when to start more. You just kind of, if you think you like it and you think you can do something else, at that point you just kind of stop. But you keep going for as long as you think you need to. Okay, so after you get what kind of looks like a sunflower now, um, you're going to want to get a smaller brush. Um, it doesn't really have to be that small, but I like them pretty small. So here's just a small brush, and you're going to want to dip it in the water, and you're going to want to go back in the brown. Um, you want a very little, see how you can like not even see it if it focuses? Um, anyway, there's hardly any brown on there at all, and you're going to want to go kind of by the side of each leaf and kind of map it out like you did with the darker. So each time you're probably going to have to go dip in the brown again. But as you do this, you're going to start seeing the, where the leaves are supposed to be and it's kind of something that separates them instead of it just showing up as one big yellow blob of things that have spiky things on the end. And so they're going to kind of look like leaves. So you just keep going at that until all of the leaves are done. Okay, so after you're done putting the brown around your leaves, uh, petals, sorry, I think I've been calling them leaves. Anyway, they're called petals. Um, you finish putting the brown around it, you're going to use the same brush, and you're going to keep going in with the brown, and you're going to go to the edge of the bottom, the bottom next to the middle part, and you're just going to kind of make some lines. Pretty, They should be pretty small. And you just do that to all the petals until you've done them all and we'll move on to our next step. Okay, so after that is finished, we're going to want to use the same brush and go back in the brown again. So this is the part where we're going to fix up the middle part from being a mess. So you're going to not want a lot of water just in case it smears again. And if it smears, um, I don't really know how to fix that because it might be a disaster. So you're just gonna wanna kinda go over it with the brown again, as dark as possible, pretty much. You obviously don't want it black, although that might look pretty cool. Um, and you might also wanna add some highlight areas, um, some places where it's lighter, um, so it doesn't look just like it's some art. You might want some thing that makes it look kinda real, even though it doesn't. <laughs> Um, but you just kind of keep working at it, and you make it as dark as possible. You might need to add some black, which we're going to try to do, um, and not make it look gray. So you're going to get a little bit of black, and by a little bit, I mean a little bit. And you're just going to kind of pretend it's the brown. Try to mix it in with that brown. And so that's probably enough black right there, and we're going to go back in with the brown. Um... So you just kind of keep going, and that looks pretty good. Okay, so you're going to want to wait for that to dry, and then we'll move on to our next step. Okay, so after it dries, you're going to want to keep, you're going to want to go in with another small brush. It could be the same one, doesn't matter. You're going to want to get a little bit of black, but you don't want water on it. You want it as dry as possible. Okay, so you're going to want to just add small, small specks of black. Um, just to kind of, it's just what sunflowers look like. So you just keep going at it, and it might smear a little bit, but who cares, you know. It looks cool whenever I do it. Uh, so you just keep going at it until you're done. Okay, so you're done with your first sunflower, and you can just repeat the steps if you want more on this blank sheet of paper. Um, so I'm gonna do that without you guys being here, and then I'm gonna show you how to do, like, a cool background. Okay, so these sunflowers aren't as good as the one I showed you how to do, which is pretty good. Um, so the next thing you're gonna do for the background is just grab, like, a bigger brush and go in for the light green. Um, I, lightest green you can. And instead of making leaves and stuff, I don't, I think that kind of makes it, like, weird. Um, so I just go and dot around it and it kind of makes like a 
not really tie-dye, but kind of tie-dye-ish background. And you just keep doing this until you fill up as much as you want. And if you wanted, you can only do like around this one and you can cut it off if you want. Um, I've done that on a couple. Um, but you just keep doing this until you are satisfied with it. Okay, so this is what the finished product looks like. Um, it's a little wet right now, but I would have liked to have more sunflowers since there's not as much green. Um, but this is what it comes out to be, and I hope you liked it. That is the one we did together. Um, and now you can do this at home. Thank you.